Hello, my name is Casey Manter and this is our first case study and this is going to be on Tinker. She is used as a ranch horse slash lessons horse and she is an eight-year-old quarter horse that I've had since she was a year old. Um, she struggles going into her left lead and changing into that left lead and she shows signs of tightness in her shoulders. Um, she's really big shouldered and she's really short necked and she likes to ride with her neck up So we tend to get a little tight in our neck and we're going to start the evaluation and with her walking and so we're gonna switch And so she moves out really slow. That's just her um, You can walk a little faster okay. Um, you can see where she, you know, she does get shortened into her shoulders. Um, that's her natural gait and stance. Um, when she turns, she typically gets a little tighter and she doesn't like to cross those and reach over with those legs. Go ahead and turn her okay. and like just cut straight, like turn back around. Um, she doesn't like to fully extend across. And she just, yeah, she's a good horse, but it's just Tinker. Nice, slow, easy going, not a whole lot of problems. Um, she does get tender in her feet if she's trimmed too short, and she does need a trim right now, but that has been difficult as the trimmers. My trim, my guy that shoes retired, and I haven't found one that's a good one. And okay. And she has been previously walked before this and warmed up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start doing the evaluations and the palpating. And we'll see if she'll keep her head up. She should stand right here. Okay. okay. Good girl. Her TMJ is good. Her mucous membranes are good. Capillary refills good. Um, her pulse and all that, and, and her uh, respiration's all good. So our neck's good. See if her is good. Um, she does have a stress point up here. Get your head up. Good girl. Uh, she may try to eat, but we've got another stress point right here. Feels good. She's free moving. Her legs feel good. Um, we've got some tightness right here. And she gets a little flinchy sometimes over her withers here, down our shoulder. Another tight one there. We get flinchy right here in our pectorials. And in our transverse pectoral, we do have a bit of a saddle sore here. The saddle likes to move forward on her um, with as big as barreled as she is. Good girl. Feel good back here. We got a stress point here. She kind of flinched a little bit there. Good. Good, and obviously she can multitask because our head went down. Okay, move to the other side. I'm gonna check this TMJ again. Good girl. We've got some tightness up here in our pole. But our neck feels good. And another stress point. Good girl. Got another one here. She kind of flinched there and moved away from me. 
She's got some tightness over her shoulder right here. Good girl. All right, come on. Hey. Good movement in her scapula there. Nothing holding that back. Good. She does have a stress point right here and she has a saddle sore from the saddle just being up too far. That happened when we were actually breaking her. Flinchy right here in her pectoral. She's still got some tightness down here in her Get your head up. I'll work on move ya. Got a tight spot here over our glutes. And right here. You know better, get your head up. We're gonna move her over here before she quits putting her head down. Good move there. Her hip feels good. Good girl. Okay. So now that our evaluation's done, we're gonna start the massage. And we're gonna start with doing the Swedish massage. And we'll go back to this side. I like to start on the left side just because that's habit and where I normally start with breaking and training and everything else. Good girl. Warm up these muscles. Oh, good deep breath, girl. She gets, she gets quite flinchy down here, and sometimes she can be a little girthy. Okay. Is that the saddle sore on the top of her shoulder blade yeah, there? Right okay. Here, yeah. That white spot. It's because so when your her scapula that ends right there. Mm -hmm. So that saddle is sitting back too far. Okay. And like I said, the saddle has a tendency on her to slide forward. Is um, that because of her girth or because of her shape? More because of her shape and the saddle that I have. Um, it's not, the saddle I have isn't really meant for her. Okay. Because she's so wide girthed right here. Mm-hmm. But that actually happened when we started breaking her. Okay. 
as I rode her in a bad saddle, like second ride in at one of the chuck wagon races that we went to. No, I don't. I mean, she is super easy to break. She seems very calm. Oh, yeah. But like, like I said, she's got another, she's got some sores down here um, from, she's been laid off most of the summer because it's just too hot down here in Oklahoma. And I do know this horse very well, so our our limitations of me being safe with her, she's she's not gonna do anything. Um, I, I I just know her very well. And if you need to, you can always step up here closer. Okay. Um, to really get my hand. You don't have to have the whole horse in the frame. Okay. Okay, now that she's really good and relaxed, and she gave us a good lip licking right there, and relaxed, we're gonna move back to this side and start. Yes, ma'am. Um, work in some of these tighter spots. Readjust here. Okay, so we're going to start by just massaging her TMJ, even though she was good. Oh, yeah, you couldn't relax in there, girl. Yeah, I know, your buddies are out there in the pasture. The day in the life of the pampered horse. <laughs> <laughs> she has to work tomorrow, so it's okay. all worth it. So it's just a prep time. Exactly. This is one of those stress points that probably it's a little uncomfortable for her. She gets really tied up here in the top of her neck. Is that because she rides with her neck up? That and she that's where a lot of stress comes in like um, she's I ride her in a, a tie down okay and that's where a lot of a lot of tension comes off that because she's pulling on that. Okay. But if I don't ride her in a tie down then she acts she throws her head and kind of acts up. Okay. I wish it would come in and freeze to get rid of our flies. That would be nice. You would have thought after our storm last night it would have. Yeah. Because it was a pretty good one. wrong halter for today on her. Does she have a specific halter for just her? No. I just accidentally grabbed more of a yearling, weanling halter, I guess you can, more or less what you call it. Okay. Just because she, yeah, that's, she's tight right here. Girl. 
start working our over your withers down here. Does more pressure or less pressure seem to help? Mm, it varies. Does like it? with her, she she's really relaxed. Okay. Especially for Tinker. Our first time I did I did this on her, she was extremely flinchy over her front shoulders. But having worked with her a time or two, she's gotten better. Yeah. Good. So that's progress, I hope. Yes, it is. I'm sure she thanks you. pretty good spot right here which feels better than the last time is it a tension spot yeah it's a stress point oh, okay and it's it's loosening up good is that also from where the saddle sits uh, this is just this is on her pectoral muscle okay or her superficial pectoral muscle um yeah part of it is from um the saddle mm -hmm. but i don't really ride her in a in a tight girth okay because the saddle don't move on her it's just she's been rode a lot here in the last couple of weeks with the cool down I can imagine that it feels good on those legs. You would think. Yeah. I know when my legs hurt at the end of the day, it feels good. Which I'm trying to stay off of that spot right in here. Okay. Where it's tender. Well, where that she's got that scab. Oh, yes, yes. You need to step on up in here? Nope. Okay. I can see just fine. I just had to get a different angle so I could see your hands. Yeah, 
only spot right there. Good girl. She's leaning into me. I can see that. <laughs> she is eating it up. Tinkerbell. Good girl. You can just watch as her muscles move under your hands. It's interesting to me. You can really tell when they relax. Mm-hmm. You know, like right here? Mm-hmm. There's a really hard knot there. Which I don't ever know why that black spot on her just showed up. I was going to ask if she's always had that. I always, I mean, she didn't have it when I first got her. Mm-hmm. It just randomly showed up, but there's never been any trauma or anything to it. Okay. Maybe just a sunspot? Or do horses get those? Oh, yeah, they can. Okay. I mean, the horse we're going to work on here after a while, he has a really bad sunburn. Oh, shoot. But he's a white horse with white skin in Oklahoma. That, that's just asking for trouble. Yeah, that is a tender. That's it is a tender, yeah. <laughs> you can just see her when she sways because she's so relaxed. She's really good right in here. She's not, she's loose. Is she good? Her muscles feel good. Now is that like their equivalent of the glutes that we have? Well, yeah, you've got your glutes up here and mm -hmm. then you've got your biceps femoris that runs here. Okay. Your tensia, uh, tensia fascia lata and your sin tendinotus that runs back here and then your gastronomus, I think I said that right, I don't know. Okay. My pronunciation is terrible. Doing better than me, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, and then you've got your quad muscles in here too, so mm -hmm. similar, a little bit of a different lineup. Yeah. Well, there's a release. Yes, I do believe she just passed. Think that stinks. <laughs> uh, we, we passed gas on our massage therapist, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is a sign of relief if I don't know what is. And we're looking at where it's good. 
good. And I always come back to their head and start up here so they know I'm on this side. Mm -hmm. um, more of just the training. That's the trainer side in me, I guess you can say. Well, and it gives them a sense of familiarity as to where you're going to be at next. exactly supposed to just move your head as I'm pushing on you. You know that, right? <laughs> Be pretty relaxed. Oh, yeah. Do their ears often get tense? Mm, yeah. Okay. What Some causes them, that? I, I mean, just like when this gets tense up here, just like I said earlier, that mm -hmm. um, having that tie down on her. Mm -hmm. um, and some horses absolutely that I have don't like their ears. He will be one, uh, Lakota will be one that does not like his ears being messed with mainly because they've got sunburn on them. But oh i could see that um he also just is not a big fan of it there's that slot tight a little bit can you see okay mm -hmm. so she's kind of turning weird you are just fine i'm working around her Thank you, ma'am. get a nice shot of sister in there <laughs> <laughs> the dog that never leaves my side. That's right. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, she's stretching out her neck. Mm-hmm. Until we see a fly. <laughs> or whatever that was. Or hoss. Well. Something caught our attention. It's Tinker. This is true. That could be a lot of different things. <laughs> He is not happy camper. Mm-mm. Took his buddy away. Oh, well, I think his buddy just responded. His buddy did. That would be my little little man, my youngest colt. Oh my. He's a little spitfire, isn't he? Uh-huh. <laughs> He's getting big though. Is he? I haven't seen him in so long.
Alright, girl. You're just eating that up. Pretty soon you're gonna come out here and she's gonna be laying down. She's so relaxed. Eh. She gets relaxed, but she don't ever seem to have any like real big yawns or unless you're on her back. Yeah. But that's just Tink. Much better on that shoulder now. Good. There it is. Yep, there's the release. Good girl. Hey, <laughs> cut it out. Dogs are barking at a coyote. Mm. <laughs> They're out this early. It is too dang early for them. It is too early. The horse doesn't seem too bothered by it though. No. She seems like she's gonna go take a nap. Her lips relaxed. Mm-hmm. She's flinchy right here. Is she? In this peck. I'm gonna move back this way. Okay. Oh, yeah, she is. tough you don't have to have attention they're protecting mama from the coyote no he is asking you for attention oh <laughs> I was trying to be on your side dude He really is close. Good girl. And she doesn't have a lot of tension over the saddle sore. I mean, which is good. I can imagine that would not feel very good. I mean, we've got some there, but it's not. Not anything stress worthy. I've worked it pretty hard before, though. Okay. Good girl.
It looks like she's gonna take a nap. Oh, that is a good one. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that face. Good girl. That stinks, FYI. Oh, do we have another release? I saw the face. I didn't hear the wind. Her face <laughs> or mine? I saw her face. Well, hello to you too, sir. Was that him? Yeah. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> that was a really I think loud it's dog catching. Bark. It really it was a loud dog bark because I heard it from over here. <laughs> Tuppers, where is your manners? Good girl. This little lady's fixing to take a nap. Good girl. Okay, now we're gonna come back. And I'm gonna finish with another round of a, a Swedish relaxation massage. Okay. to kind of end out her session. Stretching out that neck again. She's relaxed. Mm -hmm. And we still have some flinchiness here, but it's getting way better. Okay. The more I do it. Part of that is those sores too. Yeah. Um, granted, I've tried every kind of girt out there. They just don't seem to uh, help. Now, is it a quarter horse thing, or is it just her specifically? Uh, I just that just depends on horses. Okay. Storm's quarter horse, and she has one on one side, but she's young. Okay.
she's good and relaxed in that front leg. She seems to be. I mean, Lord, she's barely standing there. Step back up. You know better than to sit back. a lot looser in that shoulder. She seems to be. You don't need to apply as much pressure, it doesn't seem, for her to get the same outcome. And I normally won't step behind a horse unless I know they're not going to kick. I could definitely see that. But this one, the likelihood, I mean, of her kicking is She's just... pretty genteel. Yes, I believe I got sideways with one of your horses one time. <laughs> you know? I got too close to her and she's a feisty girl. No, you just didn't. I don't know. That horse is just... I, I didn't respect her buttocks. Well, that horse is just that horse. <laughs> Oof. Sister, you, you gotta quit letting loose when mom's back there. You're still a little tense in that one. No. That's a good girl, Tink. And this is that foot that she's got that scar on from that barbed wire. Okay. Girl. Is that why she has trouble with the left side? Because no. she tries to favor that? No, she don't favor it. It doesn't hurt her. Okay. Okay. We're going to walk her around again. Okay. So we can see if we have any improvement. Yes. Which already right there we did. Good. Well, you got to walk. Okay. I'm so sorry. No, you're okay. Okay. Come here, Miss Ma'am. We are definitely relaxed. Nice, easy going. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be as sluffish. She's moving in that shoulder a lot better. Turning a lot better. Crossing those feet over. Ask her to do another crossover turn, like tight turn. Okay. Turn. Crossover. Yep, just like that. Still much better, much, much better. I think we are making some progress with her. I, I notice it when I'm on her back too. The next couple of days, she'll, she'll actually get up into that lead a lot better too.